Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld and of course to the town of Karma where in the last couple of episodes we've made a fair bit of progress on the town. We now have geothermal power, we're going to be setting up some lights in there of course and generally we've been putting things to rights in the rest of the colony. Unfortunately we're in, uh, well we're in summer and it's very hot outside which means on the inside it's stupendously warm and that's because I am effectively backing up my heat into the uh, other rooms uh, it's it's working for me and it's not working for me at the same time Ooh, what just happened there we got some cargo parts I believe somewhere around here let's uh, jump over there we have got some devil strand Ooh, very nice we will take that now one of the things that I can do to try and help with this heat is add more vents but in time that'll actually work against me so I'm a little bit hesitant to do so um, I mean, I could definitely vent the heat coming from this room down there. Um, sure, we'll, oh, well, we'll do it, we'll do it. It'll keep all of the rooms warm, ultimately. Uh, that, I guess, is not a strictly terrible thing. Still not the best thing, either. But there we are. We'll get that heat venting out just to uh, try and equalize the temperatures in there. Now, as much as I said I wasn't going to add any more mods, there's one more mod that I've added. Um, I was hoping that the community core library would be updated at this point to 0.15. Unfortunately, it's not. I would have happily added that one. It is a very important mod, in my opinion. Um, no, don't hold that open. But we haven't got that just yet. So for the time being, we just have to kind of um, carry on as things are. We're going to lack the ability to cycle lights and that sort of thing because the community core library adds in the variable lights. But there was one mod that added in refrigerated hoppers, and these were fantastic things. I fell in love with that mod. There's no uh, refrigerated hopper mod that I can easily find. I'm not even sure exactly which mod added it. However, I was able to find, with very quickly actually, refrigerator, rim fridge. Now this is particularly awesome. It takes a couple of components, a little bit of steel. They don't use very much power, but then they have significantly less storage. One thing I especially like about this mod is on a very small room, then if you, uh, for example, like uh, let's say a 3x3 three three room, then the cost of cooling that via a cooler versus the refrigerators is a little bit more for the refrigerators, but not by much. Understand that the fridge only cools the fridge, it doesn't cool the room. As such, it doesn't necessarily benefit from certain things in the same way uh, a regular cooled room would. There we are, we researched pemmican, that's actually pretty cool. Um, let's have a quick look through here what we're going to do first. Um... And opponent, no, we don't need that. Gun turrets, fire foam, multi analyzer might be nice. Simple prosthetics, industrial heating, um, circuit organs. No, we're going to go with carpet making. And we're also going to get a manhunter pack. Well, that's rather unfortunate. Well, thankfully, the nickel is just kind of losing his mind slowly in there. But we've got a manhunting pack of boomalopes. Oh, no. They will roam the region, hunting for humanoid flesh. They can't pass doors, etc., etc. Now, boomalopes are quite a pain in the bum. But if you can uh, attack them um, intelligently, then they're actually one of the easier ones to deal with because they'll explode on each other. So it, it's like a, a stack of dominoes all falling. However, one thing I really like about the fridge mod is that for a big room, it becomes drastically inefficient to use fridges. And that's what I like about it. It's not a replacement for cooling. It works alongside it in very specific ways it is useful. For example, I could have a one tile refrigerator in the prisoner room where I could put simple meals and that's gonna drastically improve the speed of my people getting back and forth and, and feeding them and, and similarly if I had a dining room that wasn't my kitchen um, I do but in certain places where that isn't the case where you've got a specific dining room you could have a refrigerator in there with meals so people could just go to the dining room pick up a meal eat it at the table however there is a couple of other things as well and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to add one refrigerator right there and then another refrigerator right right there we will have then a third refrigerator here and then a fourth refrigerator all the way up there and that is pretty much gonna take care of all of our refrigeration needs now we've got some nasties on their way all right Armus, i'm gonna need your charge rifle you're gonna need to get out there gun gonna need your well gun you're gonna have to get out there 
Um, backer, I don't want you there too. So you go here. Uh, I guess I could have actually NASA. You can go there. What is the nickel equipped with? Has the nickel just abandoned his weapon? Uh, no, he's got an assault rifle. Very well. Um, we could go for some long range as well, I suppose. I'm not against that. Lisa, if you could pop out as well. There we go. Move quickly now, because we need to get into position to take... Oh, no, they're going that way. Please go this way instead. Please. No? No? You've decided against that. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess we're moving everyone up here, then. Not exactly my uh, preferred area for engagement, but uh, all right. Let's get everyone up there that we can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need you up there fast. All right, get into position. Well done, Lisa. Armors, you can go there. NASA. And Helene, you can go there. There we go. We need to start hitting these things pretty sharpish, Becca. Um, sure, you can go there, I suppose. There we go. Need a lot more firepower. That's right, everyone. Good, good, good. More. There we go. That's what we needed to see. Explosions. Explosions everywhere. Come on. More explosions. No, no, I needed to kill them, not just wound them. They do not explode unless they are... Ah, Pope. Okay, back. I need to pull back. Gun, would super duper like you to not be there anymore? Oh no, gun's gonna be stuck in the middle of explosions. That, that is bad times. Alright, everyone fall back. Fall back. You two. Helen. Gun, gun. Run away, gun. No. Gun. Gun, why? Why? Why, gun? You're a fool. Fool. Gun is down. Well, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Bad news. Bad news for gun. Um. Becca. I need you to go and. Um, rescue gun. Please stop setting gun on fire even more. No, no, quickly. Rush, rush up there. There's a couple that are knocked out right next to you. Have you put gun out? I, th I hope you have. Right, okay. Everyone is no longer drafted. They'll all die on their own now. Damn it, gun. You picked the worst place to run to. Why were you such a fool? Uh, what are you taking gun right now? You are going to put gun where exactly? Um, there, in bed. Right, let's have a look at you, gun. That was nasty. You're at serious heat stroke. Loads of burns. Yeah. Could you please treat gun and make that fast? The other nice thing is you can put medicine in the uh, hospital. This is pretty cool. But there we go. They're all going to just die. They'll all kill themselves. They'll all also burn out. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's just one of those things, really. Um, let's not have that happening. I'm just going to... I mean, as much as it would be useful to have the meat, there's a massive part of me that just doesn't doesn't want them. Um, yeah. I think we're good for now on our own. They're all just going to explode and, and burn up and die. It's fine. I could go out there and put out that heat, or if it was raining, it would be particularly good, but not today. The main thing I'm worried about is gun and getting any kind of crazy infections. Oh, Becky, you just did an amazing job. Look at that. All of that. All of it. Highest quality um, treatment. Gun should recover from that without any scars. I would not be surprised if gun got through that without even a single scar. Well done. Very, very well done. I want to make sure everyone is on labor. There you go. So you can just drop off your equipment. Do let me know what you think about uh, the way I've been doing that, by the way. The way I've been uh, using equipment in that particular way, where I'm just switching into uniforms for the sake of, of uh, fighting. I think it works pretty well myself. Now, I want this. Uh, let's see. We want this one to only... Well, we'll clear all first, and then food, raw foods, vegetables. Any kind of vegetation can be stored in this particular um, refrigerator, and I would like it to have a critical importance. So it's going to have... Uh, that'll be important. This will be critical. This one will be for meals. So we'll clear everything. We'll make it critical. And I'm honestly fine with whatever kind of meal wants to be put in there. 
There we go. Gun is going on having some pemmican, I think. Um, no. Oh, just decided to take off his helmet. Very well. Um, it's a little bit raining at the moment. How are you doing, Gun? You alright? Yeah, you're actually recovering quite well. Very well done. Very well done, indeed. Alright, the temperature is starting to equalise in these rooms a little bit more. I'm very glad to see that. Temperature outside is dropping nicely. So pleased. So very pleased. Mine, uh, risk of a break for Helene. Um, gun is fully healed. Excellent. So we've stored our meals. We're storing our vegetables in there. And here, I want to clear... Make sure that I've got the right one selected. Just this one. I want to clear all. Make a crit priority critical. And this one should be meat. Uh, should animal products already also be in there? No, I'm just going to say meat in there. This way, when things are butchered at the butchering table, they immediately get stored there. But look at that. Look how fast Buttercup can cook. No, ah, no. Haha. -ha. I'm on to you, you scallywag. No human meat. I see what you're up to. Get it out of there. Thank you. But as you can see, with this, my colonists are going to be able to produce... Oh, no. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. They're going to be able to get that done very quickly. This one, however, can only have a single type of meal. And that meal will always be simple meals. There we go. And that should drastically improve the speed that I can get things done. Very happy with that. Some meals will be stored back here, simply because it's the only place to put them once we've made enough. Alright, how's everything else going? The flash storms are crazy at the moment. Minor break risk. Yeah, I'm sorry, you have to go outside. It, it is a bit rough. I do apologize for that. Uh, we're making some more bricks, which is good. Also, so many people pointed this out. So sorry. Wow. Pretty much cancel everything but stone blocks. Uh, well, at least, you know, I, I made some of the, the plant pots. Like this one, Plasteel Plant Pot. Pretty nice, I think. Superior as well. I mean, 67 Beauty. Let's be honest here. That's pretty awesome for a plant pot. Alright. Where is... Um, where do we have... Helene? Uh, how are you feeling about your bedroom? Because it's quite pretty in there, actually. And you don't really like it. Um, we but I butchered a human-like. We butchered human-like. You particularly didn't like that. Sick. Eight without table. No expectations. I believe you're an uh, ascetic. Helen prefers to live in uh, ascetism. I'm not actually sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. She would be put in a poor mood if she has a bedroom that's too impressive. She also dislikes fancy food and prefers to eat raw, and raw food won't bother her a bit. So I should always really try to keep a little bit of raw food. There we go. Everything's going well. We're making some gas masks, it looks like. I'm very pleased by this. I'm going to be honest, super amazingly happy. No, no, ca carry on. I, I I want this to be made. I, I would like it made, made now. No? Yes? No? Because if I can get that, then I can start having people having to wear gas masks as part of the labor profession. That way I don't have to worry too much about people going outside. On that note, though, let's have a look at everyone's health. You're fine. Minor, so you're getting restricted. Initial, you're fine, you're fine, fine. Yep, you're fine, fine, fine. Wow, we're actually doing really well. You can become un uh, unrestricted again. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed. Quite impressed with that. Have people grabbed gas masks, perhaps? Is that maybe why some people are not... Yeah, looks like Buttercup simply picked up a gas mask. Okay. That's actually quite impressive that you decided, look, this makes a lot of sense for me to have right now. It's an awful quality gas mask, but... Um, toxic sensitivity, minus 50%. Shooting accuracy is lower. Social chat impact is much lower. Okay, no air, no problem. Our new and redesigned gas mask will keep you breathing worry-free for at least 50% longer in any nasty and toxic environments. If we can get a couple more of those, I'm going to be supremely pleased. Supremely pleased. Maybe eventually I'll set something up then that allows uh, people to 
have specific outdoor uh, groups. Now, well, we're probably going to need to do some farming fairly soon. Um, we're doing all right for the growth. I'm going to let them go for the remainder. Well, maybe. Got very little food there. Could have done with those boomalobes, actually. Uh, could someone grab this boomalobe? It looks like its corpse actually uh, got burnt out. Which is fantastic. Yeah, you're bringing in all of those. Well done. All right. Not at all bad. We're doing a little bit of research still. We're p our power situation is fine for the time being. Uh, like a cap. I mean, it would be grand if I could... Oh, really? It would be grand if I could uh, get enough clothing that I could set up very specific roles, such as cooks, and then they wear the chef chef outfits, so etc., uh, etc. Et but that uh, boomalope looks like it's uh, done a fair bit for me there. Well done, boomalope. I would actually like pemmican to be stored in here if I need it. So I'm going to set this up. Can I have pemmican put in there? Raw food, yes. I can put pemmican. Pemmican is actually considered raw food, really? Um, Tastes bland, but not offensive. It lasts a very long time without refrigeration. Or, like, infinitely, if you got refrigeration. I'll just leave it there, then. So we, we're actually okay with food. As far as food goes, we're sorted. Right, well, we need a little bit more metal, so let's start working on that. But... I think we're actually getting to a point now where our colony is starting to to get um, set up enough that I can stop worrying about the simple things. However, there's a little bit of work that I need done out here. We're going to be using hmm, granite. Sure, we'll actually go with granite for now, but only on the perimeter. So granite, these up. There we go. All the way around and also here. We'll then have granite slabs around these points. There we go. And we're going to tile this room just so it looks a little bit nicer. We'll also get rid of that as well. Now I'm fairly certain we've got enough to get all of these tiles done with the granite slabs that we've got. We might not have much more than that though. I'm going to have a little bit of something in the middle here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do but this will be some sort of decorative um, walk area in there. Uh, we're going through the, the blocks fairly quickly, but thanks to my haulers already delivering everything I needed, we're actually sorted. Uh, you know what we could do, though? We could have a little bit of lighting over here. So a regular standing lamp right there, and then we'll continue with the granite slabs, the granite paving over here. But we are almost out of granite now. There we are. Thankfully, uh, that is so useful, having haulers be able to just bring that stuff over. It's so good. So incredibly useful for me. Right, there we are. So, what's going on? Minor break rest. One colonist is idle. That is fine. That is perfectly fine. Now, we've got plenty of slate. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is have slate around here. Like so. Just around the, the perimeter of the room. We'll have walkways going into the, the middle. So actual uh, brick, I'm thinking. Paving. And we'll have that run towards the middle of the room. Like so. And this should actually make this place actually quite pretty, I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see if I've got enough slate bricks for all of that. I mean, I should have enough slate bricks regardless. Um, because I can make more of those. The granite's a little bit more complicated, but uh, I should be okay otherwise. And we're already delivering things there. Huskies are eating it, unfortunately, which is a little bit uh, less efficient, but we will forgive them for it, I suppose. Ah, good, the strawberries are being picked. Fantastic, let's get all of that in if we can. Outdoors is crazy warm. Really not liking that, honestly. Uh, hopefully people will do okay. NASA has now got a, a gas mask, which is fantastic. Uh, we're going to continue making gas masks wherever we can. There we go. Just getting all of this place set up properly. Now, 
getting more steel made. Okay. Right, well, I think at this point, it's actually time for us to start considering setting up some sort of uh, area where we can attack from. Where we can guide enemies into these areas and then defeat them. Now, what I'm thinking, we're going to be using limestone blocks. Um, we'll have a door there, I think. So that means this there. Two there. And then this. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. There we are. Now this is going to be our initial gun area. We'll actually have a double wall out here. And this will go down as far as that. And this one will go up as far as that. Now I'm actually thinking that it might be better if I go an extra six down on each side. Or up, as the case may be. And then... I'd actually... Yes, I would like to feed people into this area. Something along these lines would do. There we are. This way we can have um, sandbags to ensure that they actually walk all the way in rather than just part of the way. So they're going to be in this area and then we can start attacking them properly. This is going to be exposed though. We're not going to close it off. I'll get rid of that. We're going to be doing a couple of things. We'll be using moats. We'll be using sandbags. We'll be doing all sorts of stuff in here to make this into a uh, proper defensive area that we can um, use against our foes. Now, hopefully, they'll be willing to just walk in there. No, they might not, but we'll have to see on that one. There we go. Ooh, started a social fight. Gun? Reason was slighted? What? Gun and fern? What happened? Was slighted by gun. This drove Fern into a rage and she began a fight. Really? Wow. Insulted twice, slighted twice, harmed me, and... Oh, yeah, that's right. Fern doesn't like men. Right. Uh, but Gunn's idea of Fern is like, oh, well, he insulted me and harmed me. I mean, the harmed part is only just been added. Had a chat with Carly. Slighted Fern. Well, Fern, uh, you'll, you'll just beat that out of your system. It's fine. For now. If someone could uh, go and treat Gun though. Thanks, Becca. I appreciate it. Where's Fern gone? How are you doing, Fern? Fern actually came out far less um, bad off there. Eh? I think Gun may have broken one of his fingers punching her. Um, jaw. Yeah, crank across the jaw. And the head. Ah, oh, Gun. I learned that lesson very early. You don't punch people in the head. Punch them in the nose. Punch them in the eyes. You give a good slug across the jaw. That is good. Don't punch them in the head. The head is, is this... It's literally built to defend the brain. It's just this huge mass of bone. And your hands will break. It's, it's not clever. I expected you to know this lesson by now. Silly gun. Right, we're going to want some doors. But these ones... Um, yeah, we'll go with... Well, we'll go with... Granite doors, I guess. Sure. We'll have some granite doors there and there. Just leading out into this little area. Now, this part, I actually want it to be roofed. I want the roof to come over this section. Minor break risk. Hopefully that won't uh, persist for too long. Right, we're going to need more blocks. Slate and sandstone. Please bring all of these in. There we go. Uh, sorry, slate and limestone, not sandstone. But I'll bring in a, a couple of the sandstone anyway, just to uh, help out a bit there. We're also going to want to move these, I guess. Let's get those in. These in as well. There we go. Excellent work. Thank you very much. Now, what I'm thinking is... Well... I was going to have equipment on, on racks out here, but maybe I shouldn't. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could have the military equipment out there, but having to go out to get equipped, it would be better if I had the equipment in here, like on racks, just by these doors. 
that people could then use to quickly um, equip themselves and get out there. Yeah, I think so. Or I might just keep the equipment in, in the center of the colony, because everyone's going to be close to it that way. Got plenty of simple meals. Fantastic. Are we actually storing any of, over here, though? We are not yet. We are not storing simple meals up there yet, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, it's because it's not critical. There we go. That should work now. Hmm. When are we going to start getting this... Co oh, wait, 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 wait. Have we got cotton stored up somewhere? Because we have a... Pa yes, we do. Fantastic. Oh, so glad. Right, I want to basically do until we have... Uh, how many have we got? We've got 10. 10. Okay, do until we have 12 military fatigues. Keep those there. Um, I'm going to say... Overalls and construction jackets, perhaps? Let's actually just check out the overalls. Um, it gives... What is it? Insulation code. Doesn't actually say anything. I'm going to have to get them made first. Okay. Do until we have, and what can I make them out of? Pretty much anything. You know what? I'm fine with that. Do until we've got 12. Add construction jacket. Do until we have 12. And this will be a part of the laborer uniform. They will wear overalls, and they will wear the construction jacket. Uh, the construction jacket... Brightly coloured for perfect visibility, the construction jacket is a must-have addition for every growing colony. Let your colonists stand out, not only by style, but also the speed that they mine and build. I approve of this. Beyond that, however, we want a couple of other things as well. Uh, we want... Let's see... Scrub chef's hat, chef's jacket, desert head wrap. Yeah, I kind of want a good couple of these. I want 12 of those. Well, that being said, it only counts as if it's in storage, but then people will be, will be swapping them around from time to time. I don't know. We'll, we'll go with it and also the desert robe because it's just so bloody hot at the moment. We need them. Other than that, we will have... Um, let's see. I think we've actually got most everything else we need. We'll have pants... I guess we could have a button-down shirt, maybe a duster, I don't know, cowboy hat. Let's go for that, and we'll see how that goes for now. Just get those made for me, please. As soon as possible. Right, how are things going on outside? Oh, we are making gas masks. Fantastic, is someone going to go equip that? Yes, look at that! So many people with gas masks. I approve! They're not going to have as good a time chatting, but uh, you're going to be able to go out more. Which, let's face it, that's genuinely quite good. In a place with toxic environment, I'm afraid we're all just going to have to accept that you're going to be wearing gas masks and you're going to look like Death Squad or something. It's fine. Everyone will understand. Uh, you are going to have to stay indoors from now on. But yeah, we're starting to get really good now. There we are. For military, we'll still be going with the helmets, though. Can I actually make the helmets here? Uh, I can. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Kevlar helmet versus military helmet. Which is the best and what takes the most? It takes two components and 70 steel versus 40 ingredients and two components. But this can be made of quite a lot of things. Alright. We can made a plasteel. Uh, I'm going to say no to silver, no to gold. Or uranium. But yeah, sure, you can make plasteel if you want. Um, allow non-smeltable... -smel I can make it out of me weapons? What? That doesn't seem to make any sense. But alright. Sure. Um, do until we have... I want 12 gas masks. Actually, no. These should all be tens, because the thing is, is when they wear them, it stops counting it in your inventory. But I don't mind if they make a couple more. Um, sure, let's, let's reduce that to five, because we'll eventually make enough. The only thing is, with military helmets, it's going to be uncommon for people to be set up for the military, so they'll never make enough. 
So I, I will actually have those be be tens, but the gas masks will have those at five. So we'll probably end up with fifteen in total, and that's fine by me. Let's have a look at this. Same here. Military. Oh, actually, military fatigues. We want ten of those, but we'll have five overalls, five construction jackets, and people can just wear them as and when, and we'll get people to equip as time goes on. There we go. Cowboy hat as well. There we are. That's perfect. Now, someone else should go, should go and grab that helmet. If There we are. Perfect. Swapping out the toques for that. Alright. More and more people set up with gas masks. This is fantastic. I'm really, really happy with the way this is going. Now, up here at the back, we are actually going to want some... There we go. Want it to be out like that. Just to force people to have to walk all the way around and out into the firing line. There we go. Sorted. Now, the gun complex, which is going to take a lot of steel. We want these, and they've got a fantastic range, honestly. I should really make use of that. Wow, that is a range that I was not expecting. I will be honest, that is so much greater of a range than I really appreciated. Ye gads. That's got to be larger than a... How, what kind of range has it got? Work time, flying ability. It doesn't actually say, but that must be like sniper weapon range. Oh well. Either way, we're going to be setting them up like this. Like so. And then we're also going to have sandbags out in front. Like so. Finally, we will actually have... Um, I think over here we'll have a way out and we'll make this from um, granite no that's 25 so let's go with sandstone then one there one there just so that we can get out if we need to there we are. that should be good once we've got that in place we'll actually start adding things like um, we could even add doors across, straight across there. But I'm, I'm happier with this, honestly. But we'll be having moats through here so that it actually takes a lot of effort for them to get to us. And in that time, we can just be shooting them the whole way. Should work well for us. Uh, my animals are wandering outside. Let me just have a quick gander at my animals. Uh, I don't really need battle cows. As funny as that would be. Nah. I think we're good with that. Um, could my battle cows be restricted to animal indoors, though? Mm, no, not easily. I need them to be able to access the, the meals over there. Well, actually, there's meals there, so that shouldn't be a problem, thinking about it. So, yeah, you can be restricted to indoors. And I'm going to just let my huskies eat those meals. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We've got enough coming in now that we don't need to worry about it too much. There we go. Well done in keeping all of these meals going. I really appreciate it. A party has been arranged. NASA is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain joy and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. Hooray! And they're all just chilling out in there. Look at all those gas masks. This is a good day for the colony. How many more gas masks are we making? Um, we've got a couple more to make, yes. Because every time someone makes one, it gets used up. And that's, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Very good sign. Uh, what's this? Have we got some overall? We've got cloth thermal pants. We do not want to be wearing cloth thermal pants. Going to be honest with you. Um, let's actually have a look, though. Can I make power on my helmet? Pump shotgun, no. Okay. Right. Well, before anything else, I did want to actually check what was the best one. This covers head, left ear, right ear. Armor, 10%. And sharp, 35. Lightweight, though. Okay. Where is this? Have a look at you. 10%, 25%. So, against Sharp, the Kevlar helmet is the better one. Yeah, we'll go with the Kevlar helmet then. We'll just have three of those. Um, anything else we particularly want? Armor vests are obvious ones. We do want armor vests. Uh, machine pistol, incendiary launcher. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yep, armored vest then. 
we're going to want to have a, oops we're going to want to have at least 10 armored vests and uh, really we've got 10 armored vests dear lord i'm pretty impressed i'm going to be honest with you i'm, I'm actually genuinely impressed well played you uh we'll make it steel okay well that's all pretty good what are we making this one out of steel as well okay it looks like we're actually getting somewhere now. I'm very happy with this. Very happy indeed. Wait a second, that is pointing the wrong way. Why? Why is it pointing the wrong way? Ugh. How annoying. I thought the, the, the person behind was... It was show Nah. Okay, fine. Cancel that then. We will re reinstall at... I mean... It Surely that is the way that this is armed. Hold fire. No. Uh, yes. Can I Can I get someone... Gun, could you do me a favor? Could you man the steel gun? There we go. Why is it... No. Uh, can you actually turn it all the way around, for example? Can I have the steel gun shoot at something? There we go. There we are, that is so much better. Okay, let's have a look at the stats on this thing. Steel Gun Complex. A perimeter-mounted gun is designed to work regardless if you have power or not, as long as somebody is manning it. Explodes in a small radius of one when destroyed. Beauty is minus 40, of course. Flammability is 20%. Cover effectiveness is 85%. Work to make is 50, max hit points. Now, I want to know what the cover effectiveness is on a wall. It doesn't say, but I'm going to assume it's pretty bloody high. Wow. Can fire really bloody fast. Uh, okay. Stop force attack. Gun. Undraft. You can go do your things. You actually got a weapon? No. Hmm. Alright. Not sure why you don't have one. Oh, it's because you got badly wounded. That's right. Um, okay, well, that is exactly what we need. Should I give them a chair? <laughs> should I, I kind of think I should. It should be some sort of oldie worldy dining chair as well. And you just sat there, you know, feet up on the on the cover wall there. You know, some sort of cigar, maybe maybe a jar of weed to the side. Perfect, perfect. This is going to be exactly how I imagine this world to be. There we go. There we are. Click on this. Now I should be able to um, set the quality. I'm not going to. I'm just doing this to show people that I know that that's there. I'm not doing this right now because I feel that we lack the resources enough that it, it, it's a waste of resources to do that. Uh, actually, I'm making them out of wood, aren't I? Mm, yeah. Let's not do that. That's not really what I intended. Uh, let's go for, um, so really that's all I can make it out of? What about you? Oh, that is all I can make it out of. Okay, well I guess I need a stool then, which I can make a sandstone block. Sorry, oldie worldy chair is going to have to not be oldie worldy chair for a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I feel really bad about that. I was really looking forward to it too. Oh well. But there we go, let's get all of these set up. At that point, we should be able to lay down so much firepower, it's going to be obscene. Obscene! Right. Let's have a look. Who? What are you, what's your health? Everyone I need to know. Right, you're indoors. Good. Actually, yep. Indoors. The only one who should be. You are all good. You're on indoors, but you don't need to be anymore. How much Luciferian we got? We've got one. Very soon, you're going to have to be uh, carted off to that crypto sleep casket. I'm sorry about this. Ooh, fine meals, finally. Excellent to see. Very excellent. All right, well done. We need more metal, though. Let's get that going. In fact, let's start mining on the outside as well. Grab these components, mine this too. That should uh, give us plenty of time to work on that. Right, but while people are doing that, there are a couple of other things that we can build. So if we go back to security, we can make a couple of, of um, 
moats. I uh, like the idea of having moats like this, and just rows of two. So people can try and run, but they're generally just going to be slowed down. There we go. So we'll do the same on this side, exactly the same pattern. It's kind of like an obstacle course. Fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. Hmm, why does that look wrong? Why does this look very wrong? Uh, it should be perfectly balanced, but it is not. That is five. This also is five. Something is amiss. The door is in the wrong place. That's all. Ugh. How annoying. Yes, yes, I am going to fix it. Do you expect me not to? Really? After this long watching me play this game? Shame on you. There we go. <laughs> Alright, that'll make everything look a little bit better. But we can have these awesome moats. We can have these awesome guns once we've got them built, of course. And everything will be a little bit better here and there. Thank you very much, Lisa. Okay, cargo pods have dropped somewhere. Let's go and have a look. We have got... Oh, some joints. Okay, cool. We'll go grab, grab those. We'll also hold these in as well, I guess. There's the ancient danger room. We may head over there shortly to see if we can possibly get some more Luciferium. Look at this. Most of our colony now has gas masks. How awesome is that, eh? Right, carpet making has been researched. What are we going to work on next? Um, I really would like some gojus, juice, actually. Uh, but before we go for that, let's let's have a look at some of the other things. Um, no, I think we're going to go for gun turrets, actually. Let's get that going. Got plenty of food. We are not going to hurt for that. I do need people to actually haul that in, though. If it could be done. That would be grand. There we are. Then we can pull this one down. Actually, you know what? Uh, do I? Yeah, I do actually want that one pulled down. I don't like like those double doors in this particular area. This is this is basically a war, fee, uh, a war area. We don't really want it to be super easy accessible. Kind of works against us in a way. Wouldn't mind all of this getting hauled up there, though. There we are. All right, I'm pretty happy with what we've managed to do there. Very happy, in fact. With that kind of firepower, two of these guns. And the, the idea is that I'm going to have people stationed here as well. So we've got two actual guns and four people on each side. Well, we won't because we don't have that many people. But, you know, in the end, that will allow this little area to be pretty dangerous. Now, of course, enemies with things like rocket launchers, they're going to still be very, very nasty. And we're not going to want to have to play with them. Hopefully, they'll just be stunned by being over here. And, in fact, to that end, perhaps we should give them a couple of um, little spots where they can seek cover. Just something to distract them with. I think that is a pretty good idea, actually. This way... They'll think, oh, right, I need to get to that cover before I actually attack. And in that time, we'll have just laid down so much, um, so many bullets. There's very little chance that anyone we designate to be killed will have survived. That's the hope, that we're going to just be able to gun them down very, very quickly. Right, the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is uh, just put these last little touches around here. There we go. There, there. Get all of this nicely set up. Same on that side. This should look lovely. And yes, I'm leaving those conspicuous spots there empty for a reason. Um, oh, we haven't yet set up the paving on this side. Let me get that done. There we go. Excellent. We've got two guns now. Fantastic. I'm really liking this. We've got a good little area here. I will be setting up some uh, flooring over here, though. Uh, that much is necessary. Let's get that done. Same over here, actually. And all the way out. Um, the rest of this can actually be... Sure, we'll just get this all set up as paving, I think, there. And, um, should we go for... Yeah, sure. 
Let's put a little bit of of uh, something interesting in there. We are not going to have lights in this area, though, because it's going to make it very difficult for the enemy to hit us when we're in a dark area, whilst we're going to be very... Um, it's going to be fairly easy for us to hit the enemy. In fact, along that uh, line of thinking, we need somewhere for these lights to go. So let's just draw this power out all the way down, and then we want to set up just some basic lighting, probably something around here, just to illuminate the enemies as they're coming through. They won't easily be able to hit us, but we'll have a very easy time of hitting them. Right, that's going to be it for this episode. I think we've made a fair old chunk of progress, though, given how long it's been since we had any attacks, I'm getting a little bit concerned that we're due for an enormous one. So I'm pretty happy that we've got at least one of these gun turrets on each side now. It would be I'll be a lot happier once we've actually got all of the moats dug, because this side is brilliant. This side needs still quite a lot of work, but we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much for joining me, though. I hope you enjoyed. As ever, remember to like if you liked, and sub if you haven't, but until next time, take care, everyone.